first of all i thank you ta food for giving me invitation to their stall and uh, i started my career in the year 1979 and during that period we used to use the fire door in the industry that time the real estate business was not there and i was mostly engaged in the industry and there tac was the recommended authority but or you can say the third party who used to give us the approval for the project and there normally we accept the cbri durki approved tested doors as tac used to give us the approval for that there are other test laboratory and accordingly we used to use our all doors fire doors two hours rated in industry there was a sliding door and a normal uh, flash door also but uh, we used to follow bs 476 20 and 22 them now after that the new book came is book came around the 80s end or 90 that time is 3614 was implemented part 1 and part 2 and mostly it was uh, with a uh, stability integrity and insulation but last book last to last book where they have given that approval with the stability and integrity without insulation so less latest book now what i heard and what i have seen that there are partial and uh, fully insulated and uninsulated fire door my observation is on that is basically stability integrity and insulation has to be two hours rated because three factors is most important for saving the human life since fire door is used to save the human being in real estate project there the chances of fire is there in the building and mostly the evacuation path is enclosed by the fire door and if the insulated is not maintained two hours what will happen that the fire will penetrate the door and ultimately the heat other side of the door where the fire has occurred will increase and as we know that at 65 degree a man can sustain for one hour whereas at 135 degree centigrade man will collapse immediately so my opinion is that should not be any partial or uninsulated it has to be a fully insulated door that is my opinion so much sir sir a uh, follow up question what happens when if there is something called partial insulated i just wanted to ask a clarification question 120 minutes integrity and 30 minutes insulation will that save a person for 120 minutes as i told you that insulation is most important because life safety point of view temperature is one of the factor due to that smoke and temperature both are the factor for saving the human life you know because smoke contains carbon dioxide carbon monoxide hydrogen cyanide then uh, all other gases like acrylic phosgene and heat basically a man can sustain one hour for 65 degree centigrade and 135 degree centigrade man will collapse so actually the insulation is most important like your integrity and insulin and uh, stability thank you so much sir very kind of you